Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to one and study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, in this video, I am going to tell you top five mistakes which we should avoid during your TCS interview or any kind of virtual interview. Okay, so before we move towards the mistake, okay, so what are the mistakes we have to avoid? or uh, during the interview, okay? So there'll be some thumb rule, which we will understand. I mean, without this, you do not go for the interview, okay? So friends, the thumb rules are, do not forget the ID, okay? So you have to take one ID card before you go for the interview, okay? The online interview. Join at least 10 minutes before your scheduled time of interview. Suppose if your interview is scheduled at 10, 10 a.m., then you should join at 10 a.m. Okay, because many times we encounter internet problems. Okay, or maybe the PC restarting or some software update. So all those things happens. Okay, so and one ID card, any government ID card you can take. It's not like your college uh, card or something like that. So any other card, driving license, anything you can take. And do not be panic. Okay, or do not get nervous. Friends, what happens? So during our interview. We know multiple things. See, this happens with all of us. So during the interview, uh, we get nervous. See, even though whatever we know during interview, we forget, right? Or it escapes from our mind. The only reason is we get nervous, we get panic, and that's how we completely ruin the interview. See, interviewer does not know how much talented and how much knowledge you have, okay? See, whatever happens during the interview, that's what on based on that only you will be getting the result so nothing is gonna happen tcs is not only one company we have lot more companies so do not get panic during your interviews do not get nervous during your interviews keep a smile and confidence with you so during the whole interview keep smiling okay so keep a smile on your face and that will automatically bring a confidence on you okay so do not be very serious yes sir i know c i know c plus plus Yes. So be like, you know, make the session interview session interactive. Okay. So that will definitely bring a lot of confidence in you and wait for the interviewer. If interviewer is not joined, suppose at 10, 10 AM, then you please wait till, uh, I will say till 11 AM. Okay. So you can wait for at least half an hour to one hour for the interviewer. Okay. Now, so friends, there are a few common mistakes, which we do generally during the interviews see that will not impact in a very huge way if you have the knowledge but still the impact will be there okay so we will one by one we will understand what are the mistakes we have to avoid but before that friends so today uh, we have launched tcs ninja topper test okay live coding crash course so basically we are going to do a workshop on TCS Ninja topper test. Okay. Starting from today. So five days crash course daily, two hour time is seven to 9 PM starting from today. And friends, the great and the important thing here is you will be getting the recorded lecture of aptitude for free. See the live coding uh, class will be there uh, as your, uh, as for the TCS Ninja topper test and aptitude lectures will be completely free so this is a workshop which we are doing for tcs uh, ninja topper test and along with that you will be getting the aptitude classes for free recorded lectures for free and classes will be done by upasana ma'am she is sde at flipkart and the recording of the class will be available and automatically set aptitude videos will be available under content folder live doubt clearing session you can attend the class both on phone as well as laptop so friends this is definitely going to help you a lot if you are really preparing for tcs ninja topper test okay and this link will be given in description so do not forget to join it is going to start from today itself now friends the first mistake in the interview what we do is we think a lot and there our answers will not go in a perfect way like see uh, we if they ask you are you are you willing to relocate will you be able to work on weekends can you work under pressure can you work in night shift can you work for 12 hours a day? Okay. Now, so friends, these are the generic question, which a interviewer will ask you during the interview. Okay. See, even the interviewer does not know which project you will be put in, 
which location you will be put in okay how much work pressure will be there is there any night shift or not okay how many hours in that project we have to work okay sometimes we have to work three to four hours right see the duration will be eight hours okay but generally people work for four to five hours so these things okay in some projects they work for eight to nine hours some project 10 to 12 hours okay so it depends upon project to project but a interviewer does not have any idea okay now so you should not say no okay you should not use the word no in the interview okay so if they are asking are you willing to look at yes sir wherever you send me i will go see they as i said they even don't know where and which project all everything happens on demand okay so everything happens on the requirement so they do not know will you be able to work on weekends yes sir definitely can you work under pressure yes sir i can work under pressure even you can give some example sir uh, there was a college event uh, or some kind of event was there in the college and there were a lot of preparation was pending and uh, there were some guests had to come some example real life example you can give and i had done my uh, best i worked for you know 20 hours or maybe 18 hours a day and i had made it possible so can you work in night shift you can say during my examination i used to study whole night something like that so i have a habit of waking up in the night and i can take up this can you work for 12 hours a day yes sir i can work for so your answer should be yes so for everything your answer should be yes in the interview okay so this is a mistake number one which you have to avoid then do not bluff with interviewer okay now so friends this is very very important so a interviewer will have more knowledge than what we have okay so a interviewer will have a experience and he will be working on that particular technologies and that is the reason he'll be you know working on the development or coding or maybe automation and that is the reason he is here to take your interviews so if you will try to you know uh, if you'll try to tell your answer like this definitely he will understand your answer should be straightforward okay so if you know something please tell uh, explain them with an example if you don't know something then politely answer sir i do not know okay see there is nothing wrong nobody is perfect in this world and nobody knows 100% of everything okay so you do not have to worry at all so if one or two questions if you don't answer no need to get panic okay you have to be cool and then you have to uh, you know give the interview so if you don't know something politely answer you do not know do not try to bluff you know something add something subtract something and try to modify your answers okay and try to take from here and put it there no that kind of activities please do not do okay now so as i have mentioned in the multiple videos so do not say something in self introduction if you are not aware so now friends see it's a opportunity for us that we can uh, mold the interview or we can ask interviewer to ask the question whatever we want okay so in the self introduction do not speak out anything from your mouth which you are not aware so just one example so if you have attended one week of uh, you know training of artificial intelligence now you say in your introduction that i have a knowledge of artificial intelligence then what he will do he will start asking uh, questions on that so what is artificial intelligence which language we use in artificial uh, programming language we use so what are the uh, you know uh, product which is already having artificial intelligence okay which company work on artificial intelligence okay so lot of questions will start coming here lot of uh, questions will start coming here so whatever we speak out from our mouth in the self introduction basically as i have said so interviewer will not have that much of time to go through your resume so in that case what matters is your uh, whatever you speak from your mouth project is not only done by you so please know end to end so friends you you should have a very much fair idea about the project which you have done okay so maybe some three four people would have done the project so gather all the information what a language has been used what is that project all about end to end and then only you uh, give the inter uh, i mean you go for the interview so do not leave any half cooked answer so if if they are asking you what do you mean by sorting techniques now see you are aware of sorting techniques but now when they asked you what do you mean by sorting techniques so you explained what is a sorting technique so it's a technique of arranging arrays or whatever it is 
and then you started telling the types sir sorting technique selection sort bubble sort recursive bubble sort insertion sort so if you have you know uh, read it from somewhere you started heap sort you started telling about all those things now and after that you finished your answer see he asked you only what is sorting techniques now you told about all those things and now his question will be what is recursive insertion sort where why do we use this why do not we use selection sort why we use recursive insertion sort okay why we don't use merge sort why we use recursive insertion sort so what is the advantage if you use recursive in insertion sort so if you are giving any half cooked answer no interviewer will start dragging from there okay so he will get number of questions from there so you whatever has been asked to you you explain that in a proper way do not try to uh, be over smart because sometimes they will start dragging you from there and you will get caught so this is mistake number 3 which you have to avoid what is oops concept so if they are asking you what is oops concept you just describe the oops concept now you started with encapsulation you started with all the four pillars see whatever has been asked to you please answer that only they just wanted to check your uh, the outer knowledge they do not want to go into very much deep you do not force them to ask the questions from you in the deep okay now friends uh, one thing which i am coming across so there are ma many people who has not cleared the tcs nqt uh, test and there are many people who does not know how to apply for the off campus job they are really frustrated and they are not getting a job okay so now i have something for you so let us go through some points and then you will understand how easy it is to get a job if you have the skills so your first job defines and sets the tone for your career so as a fresher straight out of grad school your first job gives you the launch pad for your future career decisions and choices but do you want your job and role to be defined by the recruiters who hire you or do you want access to the best of companies in india and save your career based on your skills and interest so many times it happens so you are interested in something but you get something now because of you know uh, because you wanted a job and we work for that even though we do not have interest that happens with 99% of the people okay i am telling you if you want to be the maker of your own career if you want to work on what you want then meet relevel by an academy okay so relevel conducts test that give you a chance to showcase your skill to the best companies in india like cred grow upgrade meshoku yellow dot ai and many more before you think this is an expensive affair let me tell you that relevel test is completely free and the best doorway to your future i will say it's a golden opportunity for each one of us to grab this recruitment opportunity all you have to do is attempt the relevel test and score more than 70% to get your own relevel profile and i am telling you again the applying that is completely free so there is no something paid this paid that no it is completely free there is no hidden charge with a great score and relevel profile you win yourself the opportunity for interviews in the top companies still confused about relevel edge with a relevel test score and a profile you are basically skipping the competition with hundred of experienced resume that land of company hr desk friends so if you have a zero years of experience if you are a fresher or till 3 years of experience then you will be able to apply for this particular job okay now so this relevel test also help you dodge the many rejection that are common before the interview stage of your dream job relevel has been changing lives for months now find all the people who took the test took the best decision of their lives with relevel through their platform with the relevel achiever twitter handle so say so what is who are the people those who have taken the best decision so now the question will be that okay now so i will show you the profile of the uh, people okay now so here you can see friends so these are the relevel achievers okay so you can see atharv redis okay his uh, marks in the score is like his relevel score is 855 by 1000 okay and now he is back end engineer at juperly now then you can see neeraj kumar mahawar so front end engineer at sarpquest okay so he is relevel score is 738 by 1000 and then we can see uh, sohel tamboli back end engineer one code okay so there are many people who has taken a wise decision and now they are working in a reputed company you can also get a job of worth 50, up to worth of 15 lakhs per annum okay now what you have to do so you have to open the relevel website which the link will be given in description and then you can select back end front end and uh, business development okay and then you can click on get hired 
you can select any one of from them so suppose if you are selecting front end development grab jobs worth 15 lakhs per annum then get hired and you can select a test date of your choice companies like urban uh, companies cred 1mg all are hiring so i selected october 12 suppose so we have already selected the test date and now what we have to do is we have to submit video resume and they have given one example also how you can make it so start recording uh, and friends apply today do not regret later okay and i know you will make best use of that okay now friends the fifth mistake which we are going to encounter uh, sorry fourth mistake which we are going to encounter during the tcs nqt examination which again we have to completely avoid that dress well and talk with confidence okay now friends so if you are in a virtual interview then do not think that so dressing well uh, is not important friends so if you are a guy then i will suggest you so you should have a or uh, you should wear a shirt okay tie and all is blazer and all is not required but at least a formal shirt like this okay tied up till here and your beard and your hair okay so all those should be in a proper way okay now if you are a girl so go with salwar suit do not wear t-shirts and all okay so see there is a particular way of attending the interviews okay so there is a professional because now you are going to make your professional career okay so till now whatever it was was personal or something but now professional so you have to behave like a professional person okay so please dress well take care of your hairs beard and everything okay so makeup and all is girls it is not that required the only thing see you should look good so definitely uh, however you feel you can go for that so you should look good that's all that is the only criteria and after that your knowledge okay and avoid wearing t-shirts and all so shirt salwar suit this kind of things we can go for now look in the interviewer eyes and talk now if interviewer is asking what is uh, overriding now sir overriding is this overriding is that what is overloading over see you have you are having an interactive session with interviewer that is the reason the video call is there now instead of talking with interviewer you are calling god or something many people has a habit yeah over overloading overriding see nothing is written over there man so you have to talk with the interviewer not with yourself okay not with the walls answer whatever you know with confidence see the if there are 10 question if you know five out of that whatever you are answering that you answer with confidence do not keep thinking that i did not answer one or two okay that will again bring down your confidence do not look here and there and poor english should not shake your confidence so friends many student even when i was a fresher i now also my english is not very good okay i i only accept that but when i was a fresher that time my english was very very bad okay it was very poor so friends it really does not matter you what knowledge you have that matters okay see i see many of the comments on youtube channel so either about me or about other student his english is very poor her english is very poor i don't know how she got selected see he or she has something which we do not have right see if he or she is getting selected in some of the companies then he or she has some skills which you do not have see knowing the english will only not help you to get a job okay see learning english is very much required but english is not everything okay if you do not know english then also you can rule the country okay see sachin tendulkar he was not knowing the english he is known as god of cricket okay see so there are many personalities there so who did not know english but at today at present he is uh, at the level where we cannot be in our whole uh, life okay so poor english should not shake your confidence your you should be confident so you should convey whatever uh, is asked to you that is more than sufficient now fifth one smile throw out the interview it's free okay so friends please smile okay nothing is going to happen it will not charge anything from you okay see the only thing is if you smile then the interviewer will think that you have a good knowledge you have a good confidence okay so and interaction will be more you will be able to see when we talk with your friend our friends we crack jokes we talk with them we laugh we smile we cry everything we do so because that makes the conversation more uh, interactive okay and it will relax you a lot see when you talk with your friends 
you feel very very relaxed yes or no so the same thing has to be done in the interview see they are not going to kill you maximum what they can do you they can reject us that that's all right they can do so why should we get nervous why should we get panic and we should completely spoil our interview no so these are the five mistakes friends which we will definitely uh, try to remove it and whatever the thumb rule i have said so please keep that in mind we will be bringing more and more videos uh, so that you will get lot of help and i know you are definitely going to make into tcs till then thank you take care